So it's certainly like the microbiome, or I just use that as shorthand for like all things gut health. Um, I'm curious if like 10 years from now I'm going to dial back this statement, but at least right now the way I feel about it is that it affects everything, and it affects everything pretty profoundly. So with mental health, I mean, the, the brain is actually a physical organ. So it's not like it's special and different. It's actually just like your liver, just like your kidney. It's a physical organ. So if something is off physiologically, like physically in your body, it's going to impact your brain. And it turns out that our gut, um, we're almost in this symbiotic relationship with this diverse collection of bacteria, viruses, bacteriophages, like all these different little critters that live in our gut. And they are carrying out a lot of roles. And it's everything from, they're even synthesizing some of our neurotransmitters, which is very interesting when we think about how when someone, their gut is inflamed, they have digestive issues, and then they also have mental health issues. Um, maybe their gut isn't making serotonin or uh, GABA properly, and that might have to do with the bacteria. Um, and our gut flora is also, it's calibrating our immune system. And this, I think, is the most interesting topic of all right now, because we're sort of in this era where, like in the past, the challenge was infectious disease. It's like you could get malaria, you could get typhoid, and like this was the challenge, this was the big problem. So our immune system is like this race car designed to attack like real threats to our health. And while there are still some real infectious disease threats, for the most part in like industrialized countries, like it's shifted towards um, more of an issue of immune dysregulation, where our immune system is starting to kind of fire like rogue and like hitting all the wrong things and there's an epidemic of autoimmunity so it's like our immune system has gotten confused and now we have allergies and we have eczema and we have autoimmune conditions and these are all issues of the immune system not calibrated properly so now we understand our gut flora it's those bugs in our digestive tract that are telling the immune system here's what's okay here's what's bad like when you see this freak out about this but if you see this it's okay calm down and that's what our immune systems need to be taught, and these days it's not being taught that really properly.